Thank you for standing by. We were on a short break and now we're back live at the corporate headquarters of Everyday Edisons. And we're so excited about having all of our inventors here. There are 50 finalists last year. There are 25 finalists this year. From those 25, there are going to be 10 selected to be featured on this season of Everyday Edison's. Yes. How exciting is very, this? Very exciting. <laughs> very. Lisa, I understand you're a stay-at-home mom. I am. And you have a lot of children. I do. <laughs> Tell me about all the children that you have and how in the world do you find time to invent anything having so many children. Well, I have four children. Um, luckily, right now, they're all school age, which gives me a little bit of time during the day to be creative and to focus on some things that are really important to me. Um, that give me the opportunity, of course, to even come here, which I'm very excited about. Good. And you must have a supportive spouse? I do. Very supportive. Very supportive. Tell me about him. His name's Ron, and if he's watching, hi. Love you. <laughs> And he's actually with the kids right now, so I, I can't ask for anything more than that. That's the most support you can ask for. Um, I wish he was here with me. It would have been wonderful. I miss him, but I'll see him soon. I'll see you tomorrow. What uh, went on in the studio? What happened with your, uh, your presentation? You can't tell us what it is right. because we're keeping all that a secret. Right. But tell me what went on. How was the process? How were the judges? It was wonderful. I was really, really nervous um, going in. But once I got going, it just really just poured out of me, and it really did. It just happened, and it was wonderful, and I really felt a connection with the judges. It was great. It was great. Oh, I'm so yeah. glad you had a great experience, and because, you know, our viewers are either inventors or people who support inventors or would-be inventors. Right. They need to have some encouragement from right. people like you yes. who have made it this far, right. what would you like to tell them? Don't ever quit. Don't ever quit. No matter how many times you fail, don't ever quit. That's hard to do. I know. <laughs> you must have an understanding spouse. I do. You must have a supportive family. Absolutely. And you have to have perseverance. That's probably one of the most important things you have to have. Yeah. And, you know, we, we brought, I hate to bring up the M word, but how about money? Mm -hmm. Have you had to have money to put into your idea? No. That's the wonderful thing. I haven't. <laughs> That's great. Mm -hmm. That's great. Mm -hmm. So you can come up with an idea. Right. Present it on Edison Nation. That's right. And you may be selected. I may be. Let's hope. I am <laughs> so excited about that opportunity for you. Yeah, me too. What was it like for you to be with other fellow inventors? That was probably one of the most amazing things about this entire trip. Um, you walk into that room and you're with family and the best friends you've ever had. It's just immediately you click with people who do this and it's, it's amazing. I've made friends here that I know are going to be lifelong friends. How long have you been a part of Edison Nation and have you developed some long-term friends? I have, absolutely. I've been a member since June of 2011. Um, the first person that comes to mind, of course, is Betsy because she's my inspiration. Um, but there's also Tony and there's also um, Andrea. Uh, you make wonderful friends and you have a support group and you have people who are like-minded and, and interested in the same things that you are. Tell me about being a, uh, a woman inventor. Has mm -hmm. it been more difficult for you, the same as anybody else's challenges? Mm -hmm. What kind of challenges would you say to women who are watching who are inventors and are inspired and have so much passion behind their, their ideas and their inventions? What kind of challenges have you faced and how have you overcome those? Uh, the biggest challenge would probably be whatever your role is right now your time and your resources there's a lot of women that both work and take care of their homes my mother did that it was very difficult for her and I just don't know how those women do that and I really it's it's amazing um, I was fortunate that I'm a homemaker and I can actually pursue this dream of mine um, but other than that as far as being in the inventing world there aren't really any challenges or are obstacles for women there. There just aren't. Whereas there may be fewer women, there, it's not because there's a challenge. 
Um, and we, I think uh, women inventors, women especially, need to start valuing their ideas because when you look at what some of the most successful products are, they're products that women use and children use. So I would encourage all women who think they may have a novel idea to really get out there and see if, if it can be something big for them. And I hope it's big for you. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm so excited about I having you too. here. I am too. And I wish you the best Thank of luck. Thank you so much. Thank kay. you.